Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Engineering Solutions. In this particular series of the videos, we will see some important tricks, tips and settings of the solid work which will make your work more easier and faster. So let's start with the first video. In first video, we will see how to link the dimensions in this sketch of SolidWorks part modeling. These tricks become more useful in the empirical relation type of the design. To understand the importance of these particular tricks, first I will do the modeling of the part by the regular method. The regular method means most of the people generally follows. So I will draw one hollow step shaft. For that I have drawn this sketch. I will make this line as a construction geometry. I will assign some random dimensions. Let's say the bore diameter is 30 mm. Then this is my hub diameter. I will assign this as a 60 mm. Then this particular step, I will assign its diameter as a 100 mm. I am taking random dimensions. So this is the length of the hub, I will take it as a 60 mm. This particular dimension is let's say 25 mm. To make this point coincide with this vertical line, I have pressed control key, press and hold control key, select this point, select this line, then, then release the control key. Now you can see some relation appears over here. So select coincide, follow the same for the other side of the part. I will select this line, press control key, press and hold the control key then select this point then select the relation coincide so sketch is now fully defined i will go into the exit sketch then go into the feature revolve base select the sketch and this is the part this is a hollow step shaft in which this particular step is for um, maybe for gear teeth or maybe for pulley so now let's see how the uh, how to link the dimension in the sketch for that i will go into the edit sketch so select sketch and go into the edit sketch now I will explain some empirical relation for this um, of this particular part. As I said, this particular trick is more useful for the empirical relation type of the design method, in which the dimensions are having the empirical relation with each other. So I will explain this first. The 30 is the bore diameter of this hollow step bar. Uh, I will I will turn on dimension names so that it will be easier for me to explain. So D1 is a bore diameter. D2 is a hub diameter. D4 is the length of the hub. D3 is the diameter of the step. 
and d5 is a thickness of that step that is d3 so thumb rule is that thumb rule means the empirical relation is that the diameter of the bore is half of the diameter of the hub in other word i can say that the diameter of the hub is twice of the diameter of the bore this is the empirical relation so um so the here the diameter of the bore is 30 and hence the diameter of the hub is 60 other empirical relation is that the diameter of the hub is equal to the length of the hub so d4 is equal to d2 in this case d4 is equal to d2 and d3 is independent uh, diameter because here it may be for uh, gear teeth or it may be for um, simple step and d4 is also the independent but you can give the relation for this dimension also so let's see how we can do this so i will keep the diameter of the bore as a base diameter and i will link the other dimension with that so as i told you the diameter of the hub that is d2 is equal to twice of the d1 for that just double click on this dimension then type is equal to then select the dimensions to which uh, we want to link this dimension that is d1 so i will select d1 then you can see here d1 at sketch uh, is uh, appear over here so i will type into 2 uh, you can use the plus and minus sign also if required but here the relation is uh, d2 is equal to twice of the d1 so i will click on okay now you can see this particular sign which indicates this dimension is link with other dimension so move ahead as i told you the length of the hub is equal to the diameter of the hub that is d4 is equal to d2 to link this dimensions same way i will double click on this dimension that is d4 now i will type is equal to now you can select d2 or you can select d1 and type into 2 so i will select d2 and click on okay now this is the change now d4 is also link with d2 and uh, if required we can link this d3 and d5 also let's keep it as it is i will link this uh, three dimension only now click on the exit now let's see how this tricks become useful for the modifications now let's change the bore diameter to 25 now you can see the changes as a bore diameter become the 25 the hub diameter become 50 and the hub diameter become 50 that is why the length of the hub become 50s in this way these la dimensions are linked with each other this particular trick is more useful for the empirical relation type of the design where the empirical relations are mostly used but yes you can use for the other applications also it becomes the more helpful for the modification now let's change this bore diameter again i will set it as a 15 mm now let's check the changes so d2 become 30 and d4 become 30 because diameter of the bore changes to 15 now just click on the exit sketch command thank you for watching this video we will meet in the next video with other important and useful tricks and tips of solid works